Drill grinding is a notoriously challenging process due to the complex geometry. However, with the right tools, it's very achievable in the home workshop. In this video, we'll showcase the process proposed by Mr. Hugel on a corn tool and cutter grinder. In this case, a 12.5mm drill bit is mounted in a collet. Hand tightening the ER collet nut is sufficient. The drill bit must be offset laterally. The offset distance is dependent on the size of the drill bit. Larger drill bits require a larger offset. Here, Alistair proposes using a microscope with a calibrated graticule as a means of measuring that tip offset. The drill tip must also be positioned forward of the centre of rotation. There are, of course, multiple methods of achieving this. Here, Alistair uses gauge blocks or spacers to move the spindle forward by a known amount. Alistair also proposes an alternative using an L-shaped fixture. This allows you to set the forward offset and lateral offset using gauge blocks. Or as proposed in the corn instructions, the central pin is replaced with a longer one with a central flat reference face. To start with, the flutes of the drill bit must be parallel to the axis of rotation. This can be achieved using a tri-square. The spindle dial is set to 25 degrees. Then before grinding, the spindle is rotated so the dial reads zero. For a 118 degree point angle on the drill, the lower tilting bracket is adjusted to read 31 degrees. That's the setup complete. The drill bit is fed in until it's just touching the grinding wheel. The final position of the drill bit relative to the grinding wheel can be measured using the micrometer dial on the left hand side of the machine. The drill is then rotated by 180 degrees and the process is repeated on the second flank. After grinding, the conical flank relief can be measured using a dial test indicator. The ER32 collet modification allows drill bits up to 20mm to be ground. On the other end of the spectrum, small drills can be ground. Here, Alistair is grinding a 2mm drill bit. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you found it useful and informative. Feel free to ask any questions.